Adam, are you ready to slip into a new mission? I'm uh, ready to slime my way in, because this mission is all about eels. This is going to be, in some ways, the coolest, but also the most frightening mission that we've done this entire season. First up, we have the yellowhead moray, an eel that has stupidly long, sharp teeth and a bloody lacerating bite. On top of that, we don't know what kind of venom it has, if any. I mean, do I smell another Kings of Pain experiment? Of course you do. All we have is our bodies. So there's only one way for us to test this. For sure. It's either going to mess us up from the uh, bite alone, or it could mess us up from venom. The yellowhead moray eel, Gymnothorax bimbriatus. This intimidating moray eel boasts a frightening mouth containing sharp, hook-like, backwards-facing teeth on their top and bottom jaw. They are designed to capture their prey, and any attempt to escape will only deepen the wound. Once their prey is trapped in their outer teeth, their concealed pharyngeal jaw shoots forward from inside the throat to grasp the prey and pull it down their gullet. Bites from moray eels in the genus Gymnothorax have reportedly caused way higher pain and bleeding than expected, pointing towards the presence of a venom. Other moray eels in the genus are confirmed to be venomous, containing toxins in their slime coating and mucus. So not only will the yellowhead moray eel cause immense mechanical damage, but it could also deliver a seriously painful venom. Oh my God, the bloody teeth. It's feisty. He is active. I have a feeling it's going to look like an eel circus. Yeah, we're the clowns. This thing may not be like I'm holding it while it bites you. It's going to be more like me trying to grab a hold of it, and it's launching all over. It might land where it lands. I just don't want it landing on my bloody face. I mean, that might be an improvement, but I'm worried about vital stuff, maybe hitting the inside of your elbow or your fingers. This is one of the animals where every centimeter or fraction of an inch counts. If it slips out of our control, even the slightest bit, that could mean it could bite us in an area we don't want it to bite, and that could mean permanent damage. I feel like I'm about to have a bloody heart attack. Well, you should. Oh. Cave, man. You just eel slapped me. It is almost impossible to grab. Oh, good grief. It's coming straight for you, right? Dog, got it. All right, so this armor glove was a good precaution, but it's just not working. I can't grab the animal at all. I'm going to just go to the leather gloves. It might not protect my hand, but this isn't working. Torture. Some torture, man. Ready? Yes. Right, right, right here. And... Oh my god, it's just teasing me. Oh my god. Oh, why? It's pissed off. I have to say this, man. The only way it got defensive, when it was in the water. I wonder if you need to do it under the water. So yeah, so oh, it gets very defensive know. in the water. Watch your fingers. All right. Oh, wow. It's actually coming for you. We might have to do that. We might have to. I just don't know how we're going to get good enough protection over the fingers and arms. Like, this could be just like the reticulated python bite. It's got free reign now. It can bite wherever it wants. If you've got some stuff to protect your wrist and your fingers, you get it to bite your hand. It'll definitely help enough because the length of their teeth and I can wrap it enough times to protect you. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Now that we're just going in and putting our hands near the eel or grabbing the eel, we have to have some type of protection. So Dr. Ben is wrapping our hands and arms with some tape. He's hoping to keep the teeth from tearing into things like tendons, 
muscles, or worse, even nerves. Let's do a lot of layers around them fingers, please. We've got all the vital things, like your tendons and blood vessels, protected. And we're giving it a bite zone. OK. All right, I'm going in. Oh, got the bandage, got the bandage. Right through the bandage, right through the bandage. Yeah, right through the bandage. Yeah, broke skin. Ooh. I need this off. Oh, ran right where I didn't want it to get right in the bloody knuckle. Oh. Oh. Let me get this off. Oh, what the hell? Damn it. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's already swollen up in that area, too. Oh, that is insane. Oh. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, crap. Holy crap. This is like a different, different feeling. Oh. That's bleeding like crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, it burns. Oh, man. It's still bleeding as well. This is a miserable day. Yeah. And you still need to get bit. This was already a mission I was extremely nervous about. We're not controlling where the animal bites us. It gets to choose where. That ups the risk so much. Oh, no, I just got a bad feeling that sooner or later, we're going to take it too far. Safety is an absolute priority, so I want to minimize and try to control as much as we can. Like I said, even if it goes through the bandage, it's still not going to do that tearing lacerations as bad. OK. Come on out of there. You got a cave. Oh, yeah, he's super defensive. OK. Going in. Was a warning. And he likes that darker corner. He gets more defensive in that corner. <sighs> oh, yeah, that got me. Mm. Let me get the wrap off. I don't want anything constricting on. Oh I mean, not nearly as bad as yours, but I got four or five teeth marks. Mm. It hurts, man. It's starting to hurt more now. Mm. Dog, yeah. It's bleeding pretty good for like little punctures. Yeah, hey, it's starting to bleed more. It burns. It burns really bad. Let's go ahead and clean it here, get it out. There's almost no visible puncture marks at all. Yep. It stings really bad. Yeah. How's yours feeling? Some bruise. Yep. Oh, man. Things definitely getting worse. Crazy, eh? Like, little puncture wounds like that, bleeding like that. It's bleeding like that. It hurts more than it should. Like, I, that shouldn't be hurting at all. Yeah, the blood just doesn't want to clot, does it? And there's a reason for that. Venom. God. This absolutely is from Venom. Oh, man. Seeing how the littlest of Nyx is still bleeding, it's out of the water, and just still continue to ooze, some of those toxins in that venom are absolutely basically like blood thinners. That's the venom in there. Oh, man. You're absolutely right. And I mean, I've been bitten by small pythons. I've had puncture marks from snakes before. They don't burn like this. It's, it's venomous, man. It's probably in that mucus coating that made them so difficult to handle. Yeah, exactly. When we go wash it out more, keep an eye on it and see what happens. Let's get the hell out of here. Thanks for watching Kings of Pain. And subscribe to never miss a new video and watch more on the History Channel and history.com.